Okay. All right. Good morning, friends. Good morning. How is everybody today? Good. Are we great? I am so glad you're all here. So today I have some water in these containers, and we're going to make some guesses to see if we think they'll fit in these cups. So I've got this water here. Do you think this will fit in the cup or be too much an overflow? It won't fit. It won't fit. What do you think, Elias? It won't. It won't fit? What do you think? You think it'll fit? All right. Let's check it out and see if it'll fit. I'm going to hold it over this bowl just in case it doesn't fit. It fits. It just fits. So it's exact fit. All right, we'll pour that back in there. Let's try our next one. Let's make another guess. Is that actual water? That's actual water, yeah. Okay, do we think this one will fit in here? No. No? Yeah. Yes. yes. So yeah. some, I hear some people say yes, some people say no. Okay. Let's see. What happened to that one? It overflowed. It overflowed. Didn't quite fit. A little bit too much there. All right, let's try this one. Think it'll fit? Yes. yes. Okay. So it fits, but it doesn't fill it to the top. See? Not all the way. Close, but not quite all the way. See? It fits, but didn't fill it. All right, let's try the next one. Uh, this one. Do you think it'll fit? No. Yeah? No. Yes and no. I'm hearing both. Okay. Let's try it. A little too full on that one, huh? Yep. It was, yeah. How about this one? Okay. Let's check and see. Just fits right to the top. Build it right up. Okay, put that in there. So that was some pretty good guesses. I heard some of you say, yes, it fits, no, it doesn't fit, and some of them fit and some of it didn't. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Thank you for joining us. So now I have something else I'm going to show you. I have a little needle here. You guys ever use, your parents ever use like a needle and thread? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to see what fits through the little hole of the needle, okay? So I have thread here. Do you think it'll fit through the hole of the needle? All right, let's see. I might have to put my other glasses on, which I will. All right, let me put my other glasses on, see if that fits. It's tricky. I know it'll fit. It fits, right? Good job, you guys guessed right. Do you think this big blobby yarn will fit through that hole? No. I've even got my special glasses on. I'm going to try. No. It's definitely not going to fit through. All right, do you think this big old towel would fit through this little hole? No. It's one of my dog's towels. No, that's not going to fit. It's huge. That's ridiculous. So why am I showing this to you? I'm showing this to you because it reminds me of a Bible story where um, a very, very rich and wealthy man came to Jesus and he said, how can I get into the kingdom of God? And Jesus said to him, well, 
first thing you have to do is obey all the Ten Commandments. And he said, well, I do that. I, I, I put God first, and, and I obey all the Ten Commandments. And Jesus said, that's great news. The next thing you have to do is leave everything you own. Like, you're very wealthy. You have a lot of really great things, but you have to sell them and give the money to the poor. And he said, I don't think I can do that. And he walked away kind of sad. And Jesus turned to his disciples, and he said, it's easier for a camel. Does anybody know what a camel is? Yes. A big, huge animal, a camel, to fit through the eye of a needle than it is for a rich man to get into heaven. Hmm. What do you think he meant by that? John? I think he was trying to be nice and said he didn't want to get to the poor because he doesn't want to help the poor people out back in the day. Right, right. Now, the disciples said to Jesus, that's impossible. Nobody's going to get into the kingdom of heaven if you say that. And Jesus said, the important thing he wants us all to learn is that we shouldn't put things before we put God. So things like Fortnite, I heard somebody talking about that this morning. It's one of your favorite things, huh? Toys, bicycles. Things that you like to play with are okay to play with, but if you put those before God, that doesn't make Jesus happy, or God. So we want to put God first. And the ways we can put him first is by knowing the Ten Commandments, and by worshiping, by following him. What are ways we can follow Jesus? John? By listening to him and not saying bad words. Right. Makes his heart sad. No, Jesus will never want to be in your life. Mm -hmm. So by making good choices, saying kind things. Following your heart. Following your heart. Is that what you said? Yep, following your heart. What's our heart tell us to do? Does it tell us to be kind to others? It does. Does it tell us to love others? Yes, it does. Does it tell us to accept others? Yes, those are all ways of following Jesus, helping others. What if you see an older person that had their hands full and can't open a door? What could you do for them? John? Open the door for them. I'll open the door and just, help them. I would open it and then tell them, put your foot underneath it and then slam the door on the mm, No, you wouldn't do that. So it's important to be kind to others, to accept others, to love others, and follow the things that Jesus teaches us. And we learn those things by coming to church. So God wants us to put him first. So today for our centers, one of the things we're going to do is we have a game called the Ten Commandment Game. So we have an ice cream cone here. And each scoop tells you a commandment. So this one is the first commandment. God is number one. Always put him first. So Elias is going to help teach you guys how to play that game, okay? And we have one for each commandment, okay? So that's one thing we're going to do today. Another thing we're going to do is I have sewing cards here. These are cards to remind you of the story. The money is to remind you of the rich man, okay? The camel is to remind you what Jesus said. It's easier for a camel to go through an eye of a needle than a rich man to enter heaven. And the heart is to remind you that Jesus can change our heart, that if we put God first and we ask him to help us, it think anything is possible with God. So do you remember how we talked about the rich man and the disciples saying he's never going to get into heaven? If he asks God to change his heart, he can still get into heaven. All of us can do that. We can just pray and ask God to help change our hearts. Remember how I told you this? could never fit through the needle. I bet there's a way I could change this to make it fit through the needle. Just like if we ask God to change our hearts, we can still get into the kingdom of heaven. Let's see, there must be a little piece, yep, because see, it's frayed here, that can fit through the needle. Let's try it. And it fit through. 
So there's still, it's still the same towel, but there's still a way to fit it through the eye of a needle. And there's still a way for us to get in the kingdom of God as long as we ask God to change our hearts. If we put other things first and we ask him to change our hearts, then we too can get in the kingdom of heaven. So that's what the sewing cards are for. And the last thing we're going to do today, we're going to take a plain leaf like this. And, you know, it's fall time, so our leaves are changing. And because we're talking about God changing our hearts, we're going to make these leaves change colors. So we're going to make them look something like this. You can choose your colors, okay? And that'll help us remember about change. Okay? So with that, let's say a prayer. Fold your hands. Close your eyes. Dear God, we ask that you help to change us so that we can be the person that you want us to be and to follow you. And all God's children say, Amen. Amen.